بسم الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ونبينا مولانا محمد نافذ الابدان والشفاء وطب القلوب ودوائها ونور الاصفار وضيائها واله وصحبه وبارك سليم دائما ابدا سرمدا نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محمد رسول الله صدق الله مولانا العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الامين المكين الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين هو في اعظم من بسر وسامع مدد قبلاء دي مدد كعبة ديما مدد قادري امن عرائي يا غوث يا عظم ميزنم رمز الشيخ أحمد رزا خان خد بعالم ميزنم سيدي يا مرشدي شا مصطفى خان زنداباد نسلك سرکار يا عالى عالى حضرت زنداباد يا إلهي مسلك أحمد رزا خان زنداباد تلز نامو سي رسالة كا جو زمدار هي سيدي يا مرشدي شا مصطفى خان زنداباد حامل فيز رزا مصطفى امداد كن صلى الله على النبي الأمي وآله صلى الله عليه وسلم صلاة وسلام عليك يا سيدي يا حبيبي يا طبيبي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آلك وصحابك يا رحمة للعالمين All praise due to Almighty Allah نرود إن سلام زفان الموسفة في الإكزورت من غلوري فارف الله سكيشن سيدنا ومولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم Peace, blessings, salutations upon the Anbiya Ikram أهلي بيت أتخار صحابہ کرام خلف راشدین تبعین تبع تابعین ائمہ مشتہدین اولیاء کاملین ان اول دوز فلو دی پاتھ ان فلو راستے بدنگ علماء چ اللہ تو از انفنٹ مرسی ان فلو وسیلہ اور رسول اکرم نور مجسم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فور فونگ اس اپرچونٹی ٹو کم گریٹ فور صلات الجمعہ اینڈ اف رسٹ ان از موسٹ ایگزالٹڈ کورٹ ایف اور کنٹینیوئنگ لیٹ اس ڈائریکٹ اور ہارٹس اینڈ اور مائنڈس ٹو دی ہولی اینڈ سینٹیفائڈ کورٹ of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and in doing so let us collectively recite the Rusharif Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin Qalatan daimatan magbulatan tu'addi biha anna haqqa ul azim Aajiyo aao shahan shah ka roza dekho Aajiyo aao shahan shah ka roza dekho کعبہ تو دیکھ چکے کعبے کا کعبہ دیکھو We are in the month of Dhul-Hijjah and just few days ago we fulfilled our responsibilities of making sacrifice as per the command of Allah and His beloved Rasul صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم It is our dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts all our sacrifices that we have made, all our qurbanis that we have made. Ameen, ameen. And whatever weaknesses or shortcomings happened in this, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our shortcomings ameen, ameen. and our weaknesses. <coughs> we are, as I said in the month of Zul Hijjah, we have completed our qurbani. And Muslims from all nooks and corners of the world have journeyed to perform their Hajj, to do Hajj and to make Ziyarah of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all the Ahli Sunnah that have fulfilled the Hajj, may Allah give them Hajj Mabrur, accept the Hajj and also if there are any shortcomings, may Allah forgive the shortcomings and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala take all of us to perform our Hajj, inshallah. Allah, by His beloved, by His infant mercy, has granted such an excellence to His beloveds and He has granted such honor to them that without them you will not even be able to fulfill any of your responsibilities of devotion in the court of Allah. It will not be possible without them. And the simple example is Hajj. 
Simple example is Hajj. If you decide to go and make Hajj, but you don't do you don't want to do Safa Marwa. You don't want to do Sa'i. What happens? The Sa'i that we are making, why we are making? We talked about this before. It is the remembrance of a Nabi of Allah. And it is the remembrance of the mother of a Nabi of Allah. And I said this to you before. Today when we do anything, the Bad Mazhabs always object. If when you hear the Azan, simple example, and I've said this before, I'm repeating it today. And it is our habit to do repetitions. We learned it from the Quran. Okay? The habit of the Bad Mazhabs is that they look for some way to confuse the unsuspecting Muslim. And one example, simple example. When you hear the Azan, what do you do? When you hear the name of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa You do what? What Siddiqui Akbar did. You do what Siddiqui Akbar radiallahu did. What did he do? When he heard the name of Rasul Ipaq, Sahib al Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the azan, he would kiss his thumbs and place it over his eyes. Subhanallah. Kiss his thumbs and place it over his eyes. Aye. What would we say? Qurratu ayn bika ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Rasulullah sallam, you are the coolness of our eyes. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Now, we know that when Sayyidina Adam ala nabina alayhi salatu wa salam asked Almighty Allah to pardon him, then, and remember, a Nabi does not sin. Nabi is a masum. They cannot sin. When Hadrat Adam salam ate from the tree in Jannah, yet Allah said, do not go near the tree. That was not a sin because a Nabi cannot commit sin. That too was by the will of Allah and the means of mankind coming onto this earth. Okay? But it is a lengthy discussion. But when Adam alayhi salam sought pardon in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he knew that because of that I've been set from Jannah unto the earth. And he asked pardon and he asked pardon and when he asked, one day he said, Oh Allah, I ask you through the blessing of that name that is attached to your name on the arsh. <laughs> Whose name was that? Wo jo na the to kuch na tha. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Wo jo na the to kuch na tha, wo jo na ho to kuch na ho. Jahan hai wo jahan ki jahan hai to jahan hai. When he was not there was nothing. If he is not there is nothing. Subhanallah. Huh? He is the soul of the universe. If the soul is existing, then the universe is existing. Subhanallah. Simple. He saw the name of Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He remembered that when Allah created me, I saw the name of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam attached to the name of Allah. So I said, Oh Allah, pardon me through that blessed name. And Almighty Allah pardoned him. He said, oh Allah, let me see him. Allah Almighty said, Not now, but I will show you a tajalli of his. Look on your fingers or your, some rewrite say fingernails, some say thumbnails. And he looked on his fingers or thumbs and he saw the nur of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And when he saw the nur of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what did he do? He kissed them and placed them to his eyes. He kissed them and he placed them to his eyes. Now when we do this, there are questions. Adam Alaihi Wasallam saw the light. He saw the nur. That is why he kissed. You people are not seeing. Why are you kissing? Bibi Hajra ran because there was no water. Today there's enough Zamzam. What are you running for? We always ask the question. She ran because of water for Hazrat Ismail Ali Salam. Why are you still running when there's Zamzam from one end to the other? The answer is very simple. The practice of Hazrat Hajra became beloved to Allah. It became the practice of the believers when they go for Hajj and Umrah. We are following in her way. Because by following in her way, it pleases Almighty Allah. Leave alone her running, becoming Mubarak. Safa and Marwa became the signs of Allah. Mountains. Mountains. 
at the in very least Safa and Marwa are what? Shai Allah. They are from the signs of Allah. Subhanallah. Two mountains, just mountains, became the signs of Allah. And why they became the signs of Allah? Because a mother ran between those two mountains looking for water. But why was she looking for water? She was looking for water for her son who is a Nabi. Subhanallah. She actually ran in the love of a Nabi. Subhanallah. And Allah made those two mountains Mubarak till Qayamat. Safa and Marwa from the signs of Allah. They became the signs of Almighty Allah. Now think about it. When Hadrat Hajra ran between Safa and Marwa, it became the signs of Allah because of Nabi Ismail alayhi salam. When you go and make tawaf after you finish, what you do? What you do? Zam zam. Finish Safa Marwa, what you do? Zam zam. How did zam zam come? How did zam zam come? If you have this story that you cannot follow like this, you should not give so much respect to the Ambiya. You should not value and respect those tabarukat. Why are you going to make ziyarat of the tabarukat? Every time you're going for hajj, you're using tabarukat. So zam zam is tabarruk. And you know what kind of a tabaruk? It flowed from under the heel of Allah's Nabi. Subhanallah. flowed from under the heel of Allah's Nabi. And the source of Abe Zamzam is in Jannatul Firdaus. The source of Abe Zamzam is in Jannatul Firdaus. A Nabi rubs his foot on the ground and earth. And Jannat, the, the Abe Zamzam comes from Jannat under the feet of Allah's Nabi. And it flows in dunya. That's why today they can't find the source here. Because its source is in Jannatul Firdaus. But that too is to the blessing of... Allah's Nabi, you go to Maqam Ibrahim, what is it? Subhanallah. It is the barkat of the foot of a Nabi. Nabi. What happened on Maqam Hidan Arafat? Didn't Hadrat Adam and Bibi Hawa meet there after all that time? Subhanallah. Subhanallah. The place of acceptance in the court of Almighty Allah. Subhanallah. Why are you going there? Now, when this is about Hadrat Ibrahim and Hadrat Ismail and Hadrat Sayyidina uh, Adam ala Nabi Ali Musalatu Wasala Ali Musalatu Taslim, then tell me what about the personality who is Imam Al Anbiya Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Wasallam? What about that personality who is Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? I shared some words this morning, and I'm going to reiterate those words for you. Beautiful words. It answers all our questions. Beautiful words as to why Allah Hazrat said Haji wa Aw Shah Shah Ka Rosa De. Kaaba ko dek chuke Kaabe ka Kaaba deko. Very beautiful words. Ustaz Zaman Shah Shah Sukhan Hazrat Maulana Imam Hassan Raza Khan Radi Allah Hu Taala the younger brother of Allah Hazrat Adi Mulbarka Taala. And what does he say? He said He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that grand king, the king of kings. He said Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that grand king. On whose blessed head the glowing crown of both the worlds has been placed. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. What beautiful words. He says, Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that grand king on whose blessed head the glowing crown of both the worlds has been placed. He said, He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been blessed with such excellence that under his sacred feet the throne of Almighty Allah has been laid. For you and us, there is a carpet, there are tiles. But when the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went for Mi'raj, under his Mubarak feet was the Arsh of Almighty Allah. Under his sacred feet, the throne of Allah Almighty has been laid. The kings of the world are mendicants at his royal court of arms. The beggars, they are beggars, the kings are beggars at the court of Rasulullah Pak. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, famous kings are dependent on the arms which he distributes. He distributes the bounties of the world. He distributes the bounties of the world, the grand fortune, grants fortunes to the entire world, and fills the empty purses of the mendicants and grants whatever one wishes. Who is this? Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam. So what does Allah Hadrat say? Allah Hadrat says so beautifully ki haji wa'aw, shahan shah ka roza dekho, kaaba ko dek chuke kaabe ka kaaba dekho. To see the roda of the king of kings, O pilgrims, to come. Allah Hadrat says, I'm translating for you. To see the roda of the king of kings. O oh, hajis, O oh, pilgrims, do come. The Kaaba you have seen. Now to see the Kaaba of the Kaaba, do come. The beloved Rasul is the Kaaba of the Kaaba. This is our Iman. This is our Akidah. Why? Because the beloved Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
The Kaaba became the Kaaba because of the blessing of Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Kaaba became the Qibla because of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because the beloved Nabi, and time is not permitting to go in details, but the beloved Nabi used to face what? Baitul Maqdis and perform Salah by the command of Allah. But time and over, the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would look up towards the sky, look in the Holy Quran. Okay, he would look up towards the sky. And the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam looking up to the sky, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said, Oh beloved Nabi Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, now turn your direction. We are seeing you time and over again, raising your blessed eyes towards the sky. Now turn your direction again, turn your direction towards that which you wish. Towards the Kaaba, the Muazzama, and the beloved Rasul, while in Salah, turned his direction towards the Holy Kaaba. And that is why today you go and see the sign in Masjid Al-Qibla The mosque of two Qiblas, one where the Nabi was performing, and the other in the direction in which he changed. Why? The Kaaba became the Qibla, the direction of the Ibadah of the entire world, because of that which was in the heart of the beloved Rasul. And the scholars have said that why is it that your heart in your body is on the left. Allah, Allah. Subhanallah. Everything good is from the right. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Everything good is from the right. right. Why is your heart on the left? Allah, Allah. Because the heart is the Qibla of your spiritualism. And the Kaaba is on the left of Madinah Tul Munawwara. It's on the left of the beloved Rasul. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Something to think about. And our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi is indeed the Kaaba of the Kaaba. The beloved Rasul, Sarwar Edu Alam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's blessing it is that today everybody faces the Qibla. Today the entire world goes and makes tawaf of the Holy Kaaba. The whole world looks to go for Umrah. The whole world looks to go for Hajj. Yes, it is the command of Allah. But this is the Sadqa of Muhammad Rasulullah, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. And yet there are people who will go for Hajj and come back without going to Medina. Yes, it's a reality. They tell you it's not necessary. They have not understood the word necessary. They have not understood the word necessary. And if time permits, we will discuss this in detail. But enough it is once to understand that the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi is indeed the Kaaba of the Kaaba. The beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's mercy is on the entire creation. And every Muslim, they say, but how can the beloved Rasul be the Kaaba of the Kaaba? The Kaaba is so exalted. The Kaaba is so elevated. Everybody goes and makes tawaf there. Everybody looks forward to look at the Holy Kaaba. But you're not understanding the Kaaba is waiting to look at the ziyarat, didar of Rasul Ipaq and make ziyarat of the God of Rasul Ipaq But they say, no, but so exalted the Kaaba is. Yes, of course it is exalted. But tell me which Muslim, every Muslim has this iman, a true Muslim. Which is the greatest in Allah's creation? And who is the greatest in Allah's creation? From all the creation of Allah, who is the greatest? Rasul Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the greatest of all the creation, then isn't he the Kaaba of the Kaaba? Subhanallah, subhanallah. Isn't he the Kaaba of the Kaaba? Isn't he the direction of the Qibla and the Qibla of the Kaaba? When Hadrat, the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, simple. This started not here, this started in the heights of the heavens. This didn't start here. This started in the heights of the heavens when Allah said to the angels, Make sajda to Adam alayhi salam. Then all of them make sajda. But in reality, the sajda was not for Adam. The sajda was for the nur of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And the qibla of that sajda was Hazrat Adam alayhi salam. So this comments there. This comments there. And here it is manifesting in the form of your hajj. Here it is manifesting in the form of us facing the direction of Qibla and making our ibadah in the court of Almighty Allah. Allah. So understand the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi is indeed the Kaaba of the Kaaba. There is nobody in the creation that is more exalted and greater than the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And anybody who does not believe this has no iman. If you do not believe, if you do not believe that the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the greatest in Allah's creation, then there is no need you saying that I'm a Muslim. Everything is from our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by the hukum of Allah. And nobody can get one speck and one atom from the court of Allah without Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why? Bakhuda khuda ka yahi hai. Bakhuda by Allah. This is the gateway to the court of Allah. Remember, this is the gateway to the court of Allah. Whatever we want in this dunya, leave alone us. 
Leave alone everybody else. Even Khalilullah alayhi salatu wasalam is coming in the court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasalam. And you will see on Maidan al-Mahshar. Everybody will say on Maidan al-Mahshar that everybody from the beginning to the end will come in the court of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasalam. And then they too, others will be saying also, Oh, kaveh ka kaapa. Others will be saying also, the Nabi of all Nabis. Magar nahi chalega. Too late. Those who said yeah will be accepted there. Those who said yeah will be accepted there. Aaj le unki pana, aaj madad maang unse. Phir na maanenge kayaamat mein agar maan haya. Now is the time to accept that there is no greater personality than the beloved Nabi. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is the beloved of Allah. The hajj that we celebrate, the bakar eid that we do, the ibadat that we perform. All these are for the pleasure of Allah. But Allah has bestowed us with all this because we are the ummah of Muhammad Rasulullah. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. And when we understand this properly, then only will a person's iman be kamil. Then only will a person's iman be perfected. Until such time that he does not accept this and he does not fully understand this iman will not be perfected because the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa is the jani alam and he's the jani iman. He's the soul of the universe and he's the soul of our iman also. If you want success in the court of Allah, if you and I want to be close in the court of Allah, then we have to become mendicants and beggars at the sacred feet of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Allah's mercy will descend upon us in abundance. Remember, hame to karni hai shahin shahe batha ki raza joi. Hame to karni hai shahin shahe batha ki raza joi. Wo apne ho gaye to rahmat hai parwad digar apni. Wo har alam ki rahmat hai. Koi alam mein reh jate. Ye unki mehrbani hai ki alam pasand aaya wa maali nal balaat salam alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To ask for all those who are in our community, Allah grant them shifai kamil. Set a ajil and dua for all those who are pastor in Ahlul Sunnah. Especially for dua for our... Khilafat Bhai from Pakistan, his wife passed away the uh, day before yesterday. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exalt them in Jannah. And all those that we know of and not know of among the Ahl Sunnah that are passed away, may Allah exalt them in Jannah. Amen. Those that are going through calamities, may Allah remove them from the calamities Amen. and difficulties. And those that are going through any illnesses and other problems, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease this upon them. Amen. And we make dua for the Muslims throughout the world, the Ahl Sunnah throughout the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect their lives, their wealth, their honor, and their iman. Especially the Muslims of India that are going through a very testing time right now. May Allah ease the time upon them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them from the oppressors and from the tyrants. Allah keep us with iman. Let us give this word with iman.